Hey, what's going on, y'all? Um, back again. As you can see, new box. Going to house. I finally came up. You can see I got three, four inch ports. I think it's tuned to 33 or 32. It's in the 30s. So it's a really medium range port. Um, went ahead and picked up another, another 18. So I'm having two 18s. Going to wire them down to, uh, uh, four ohm. Let's say four ohms. One ohm. As you can see, I went ahead and picked up some cheap black Walmart paint. You know, the uh, uh, missus and the, my son did this for me. As you can see, where my son messed up at. That's cool. Uh, got the little ant rack things. Now the amps. I like. I'm sorry. I apologize. I had a couple videos, but my phone decided not to process it right and it kind of got corrupted so I'm gonna give y'all a little update on what I've been doing besides freaking working <laughs> um, went ahead and picked up two amps um, the first amp is my uh, it's a six channel MP, MB cord oh MB. Yeah, MB Court, good old six channel ish. So this is how I just do all my my tweeters, my front and rear door speakers, all gonna be head on on this. So and for the 18s, first time buying one of these bad boys. Uh, Good old scar. Yeah, so that's our one ohm. So I should based on me up I'm doubling my watts. So no more four channel and two channel amps and kickers coming out. Also I'm end up uh, I'm gonna end up yeah. That little cheap ass radio that's going in the missus car so i was having problems with this old school pioneer For some odd reason it works now but i kind of figured the problem was when i did my dual batteries one of my uh one of my ground wires from the from the factory was loose so ever since i re-drilled the hole and tapped it Everything is working. Now I ain't had no. This starts up every time. No problems. I ain't have to do a couple hair marys and <laughs> make sure it works. Okay, back to the box. I'm strictly running eight gauge. I'm running eight gauge. You know it ain't it ain't the good OFC shit. But like I said, I'm not running. Oh, I'm not. This is daily. This ain't no competition I ain't trying to, I'm not chasing DBs I just want to turn heads and maybe get a maybe get out a couple tickets <laughs> noise tickets did 18 two 18s and the door was speakers I got I got some five inch, five and a quarter inch kicks they gonna run off the uh, radio and another pair of uh, tweeters I'm gonna have it put all them two is gonna run off the radio. Now all everything else gonna run off the amps. Now I don't know if y'all never seen my 18s before. Let me go ahead and unbox this baby. Yeah, old school discontinued 18. Now this is the old one I had. Shit, it's still firing. Yeah, I don't think it's been broke in yet. So, two of them bad boys. Same specs. Basically, it's a little bit taller, a little bit wider. So, I've been having back problems, too. And I kind of cheaped out. I ran out of wood. So, I ended up using some cheap knockoff birch. And it kind of got a little bend to it. So, hopefully, I went ahead and braced it, and braced it a little bit. Brace it a little bit. I don't know if you can see in here. 
buttons. I'll play with this. And you can see I got my edges all somewhat glued up in. Bracing. Box number seven. You can see I got it all glued up, tied up. Ports. So I might end up popping this because I got it. I hope I didn't mess it up too bad. Cause when I, cause I got the uh, brace in, cause see I'm not, I didn't glue this in. Cause I was thinking about I might pop it out and try a slotted box. Sorry y'all, that's my heat. <laughs> I might do a slotted one. But like I said, box is cool. I got gaps. Like I said never, never, never do everything with a jigsaw and you got back spasms <laughs> cause I cause my shit I got some wood cause it's, it's, I got a wave going I'm like but <laughs> I'm saying box of sound it's heavy I need as you can see I, I got gaps I ain't gonna I ain't bullshit I got gaps I need to fill in so I'm gonna fill that in with some uh, Bondo glass and I don't I might just I might just go ahead and paint it black Go ahead and paint it black, and if I'm probably, I'll probably end up carpeting it. I kind of want to do a, uh, I'm going to try to do black vinyl around the ports going up in the middle, and do carpet on the sides, and see how that turn out, because I got black vinyl, and do, do the carpet on, do like do the vinyl. I haven't decided yet, because right now I'm just going to just pop the lid on there. And uh, I'm probably, I'll probably just go ahead and do a little burp. Probably just find an amp. <laughs> find an amp. <laughs> just so you can burp it. <laughs> and like I said, I'm using all 8 gauge. I'm using all 8 gauge. I was going to use a terminal cup. Move my terminal cup back. I was going to use a terminal cup, but I dropped it on accident and chipped it like that. Cause I was gonna pop these off and just go and but then again I forgot I forgot to cut this when I was putting the, before I put the box together this is simple and I might just go ahead and take these out and just put them in the box matter of fact I might just do that <laughs> like I did like I said then my ant rack I haven't decided do I want to do it like I did the last time just have the amps in front or go ahead and flip this upright and mount them to the back of the box now if I mount them on the back of the box I gotta screw a couple more holes and like I said holes ain't no thing so that's what I probably end up doing is having the fans these is only gonna see the fans and had on the ah, back of the box but update I'm rocking 218s off of SCAR, what's that, SCAR 2000, RP 2000.1D, running off of MD Corp, 6 channel marine amp, because I couldn't, I, they had an amp, it's a Lanzar amp, even though this is made by with Hyphonics quality, Hyphonics shit, this is like, supposed to be like the Cadillac, but, it's cool. If this don't work, I guess I go find another four channel because I still got that crunch amp. I just go get another four channel crunch amp and and run just run it like that. And if I do that, I'm gonna end up redoing the whole amp rack and blah 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 blah. Uh, that's like I said. That's all I got. It's an update. Like I said, I'll do apologize. You no know, equipment malfunctions because I had a couple, but like, like I said, because I went ahead and built this bad boy for work, but it was too, I got tired of taking it home every day and I didn't want to leave it at the job because somebody probably steal it. So I got, I made a smaller one, made a smaller one, you know, pretty much the same setup, smaller one, you know, because I got rid of this. This used to be my old setup, this. No USB, this aux, and I had these running towards it, so I might take these upstairs and put them 
and take them in the house. I mean, take them upstairs. You know, since I got that now. But, like I said, I might end up putting this back in. Because this is a decent, decent hair unit. It kept popping up amp error. And I left this on for like 10 hours. I cut it on. It went to work. And I totally forgot about it. <laughs> until about six seven o'clock at night and it was still playing it was still running i ain't had no speakers hooked up to it but it was still it was still going so i was thinking about just going ahead and taking it uh taking it to work you see i got the that's the reason why i had this stuff hooked up to it i had a little cheap wire hooked up to it like i said it still works so it still works But I said, I'm gonna try that out. Like I said, I might. Like I said, I want to. I'm probably gonna get another Pioneer because I don't. I'm not feeling that Alpine I got no more because I was trying to add trouble to it. And it, it like it went it, like it, it's, I think it's that's probably what fucked up my RF. That's probably fucked up my wiring, my blowing speaker. So let me go ahead and cut this. This is too damn long. I'm rambling. I'm trying to, I need to order some more of the 8 gauge. Since I'm running, is they dual, the subs are dual 4, so positive to positive to negative. So, go ahead and call this, and I'll catch y'all next time. You know, thanks for watching. Like, don't like, comments. I'll get back with you on that. Thank you.